All right, we're gonna unbox this depth finder right here. Uh, first thing we see is a uh, trans inducer. The, uh, looks like the unit itself, a little small unit. Just, uh, they had it on sale for $99. Uh, next thing you're gonna find is instructions. What you're gonna wanna do with them, you're just gonna wanna throw them away. Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Finn TV here. I've got a uh, boat in the background I just bought. Plan on doing a little cat fishing and a little bit of a uh, little bit of crappie fishing, a little bit of bass fishing out of it. And uh, I picked up a new depth finder at Bass Pro Shops. I had one on sale. And uh, I'm gonna do a little video of us putting this thing on here. Uh, gonna do some fishing in the next couple videos. The tools we're gonna need is, uh, we've got some silicone, a pair of wire cutters, and uh, butt splicing pliers. Two butt splices, some zip ties, some cutters, and a drill, and a new depth finder. All right, we're gonna, uh, probably gonna put this one on the back of the boat, and uh, probably get another one, maybe a side imaging, and might move that one to the front, I don't know, but for right now, I just need one to run by. All right, we're gonna unbox this depth finder right here. Uh, first thing we see is a uh, trans inducer. The, uh, looks like the unit itself, a little small unit. Just, uh, they had it on sale for $99. Uh, next thing you're gonna find is instructions. What you're gonna wanna do with them, you're just gonna wanna throw them away. Uh, Got the transinducer mount, got a fuse and some screws. Uh, here's the mount itself. And uh, I'm thinking we might have a power cable somewhere. Okay, it's built into the built in the transinducer. Alright, now we're gonna mark these holes right here. I've already got one here. I'm gonna try to reuse that one. None of these holes right here would would line up. So, uh, but whenever you looking for a place to put your transinducer, um, you know, make sure that you're not gonna hit it with, you know, right here. I've got a couple of inches right here from my trailer runner, and you know, you want to make sure that you're not gonna knock it off with anything. Try to put it about level with the bottom of the boat. But the uh, thing about aluminum boat, if you do a through hole, it creates a thin layer of air underneath the boat on an aluminum boat, and you won't be able to pick up when you're at speed. So um, when you drill holes, I've already looked on the back side. Uh, you wanna make sure you're not gonna drill in anything. And here, I'm not gonna drill in anything. I'm gonna drill that one real quick. Take our drill bit out, put our Phillips in. Oh, yeah, put your little silicone on there, keep you from having any leaks. all the way tight you want to line up the other one all right now you want to uh, take your plastic pieces here and spread these stainless steel ears. All right, so now that you got that in there, this kit come with a bolt, a nut, two washers, and two rubber grommets. So I'm gonna take my washer, 
my rubber grommet. Slide it through. Take my other rubber grommet washer, my nut, and uh, looks like a quarter 20 bolt. So it's going to be a 7 16. Some of you might find be metric, but uh, and usually that's what's wrong with them, they metric. So I'm not going to tighten that up super tight, but just enough to kind of hold that transinducer. where it's not gonna move but you know very easily but if you hit it with something it will move that's kind of the purpose of that thing being the design that it is it might be a little bit too tight but that's just it's my boat that's why I like it I paid for the depth finder I paid for the boat so I reckon I can do it how I want to yeah, I'm, I don't I'm not gonna run the wire through anything I hadn't found any way there's foam and stuff that's in the way so I'm gonna run it up beside the, the throttle cables and whatnot and uh, I'm going to run it through here. This was an existing hole. And then I'm going to take and put this cover back on. I'm gonna take and run this wire, I'm gonna zip tie it real quick. And I'm gonna, there's a hole here, and I'm gonna put all my excess in there and run it back up, zip tie it, make it look professional. Even though a professional didn't do it, I'm gonna take this battery off charge, I'm gonna put it on a cranking battery, that way I can go fishing tomorrow. And uh, I'll come back and we'll mount, the, uh, we'll mount the head unit and we'll wire it up and we'll be done. All right, so now we're gonna mount the, uh, head unit and what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna try to cover as many holes as I can may even try to line up on one I cut the part out on the video about running the wires because I had some other work to be doing I put my steering cable and my control cable and the wires going to the belge and the uh, uh, aerator pump so I figured I'd just cut that out since that really didn't have anything to do with the mountain of depth on it all right so I got my pilot hole drilled there grab another screw get on Amazon or eBay or something try to find some type of a uh, uh, like a foam or something to put over this to cover all these holes I'm gonna put a side image in if I own this boat if I decide to keep it so uh, I may use this one to uh, I may put this one up front I don't know I just a uh, hundred dollar depth finder uh, I went with it because I don't know if I'm gonna keep the boat what I've done is I run my power wires down through here my transinducer put my extra cord in here run my power wire up through here uh, i soldered this connection right here and uh i just got me some rain terminals i didn't show those earlier i didn't realize that i was going to hook it to my trolling motor battery i planned on wire finding a power and a ground up under my, my box but um it was just as easy to run it here to this trolling battery and that way i can kind of keep an eye on my if this depth finder show voltage um, I can keep an eye on my voltage on my trolling motor battery because so I've got a voltage gauge on the uh, on the cranking battery all right so now this uh, this depth finder come with a fuse we're gonna put the fuse in I'm gonna put I turn my battery cables around get them out of the way cover back on my battery right, that'll keep the battery down 
Take you over here to the dip. I don't know, see if it'll turn on. All right. So there we go. The hummingbird comes with the Allen wrench that you need to put the transducer on. And I think so does Garmin. But I guess uh, Lawrence let rather send you the stickers. So they sent me two nice Lawrence stickers. Hell, I'd rather have the stickers because uh, I've got plenty of Allen wrenches. But that about sums it up. Uh, I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, maybe on the next video we'll do some fishing. It's been hot here in Alabama. And uh, I've just got this boat. I'm going to see if I can't catch some catfish. So uh, y'all stay tuned. We'll do some more videos like this. Might do some videos on... Uh, you know how to check out an outboard and uh before you buy it or check out a boat before you buy it uh just kind of some things to look for check compression on a four stroke show you how to do a leak down um but anyways uh appreciate y'all watching